Oh, hello, fellow math enthusiasts and learners of mathematics. In this video, I have a real three-dimensional hands-on approach with everyday objects to all of this gibberish that's known in algebra as the distributive law or the distributive property. So I'm going to explain what all of this means and why this is all coming from using a really, really simple, straightforward explanation that everybody can comprehend. These are small packages of hardware. They have plastic anchors in them and screws or bolts that match them and they go into the wall and you can hang a cabinet or a picture or whatever. And sometimes there is a screw cap, sometimes there is a... Um, a here, a little like this uh, L-shaped piece of metal, like a wall anchor, whatever, just different shapes. I'm going to be using these four here, and this is an anchor, and in, in English, this just happens to start with A, and this is a, a screw, but I'm going to call it a bolt, so it starts with B. So I have A plus B, you see where this is going real fast. So I have A and B to play here with. And so two of these lines relate to addition and you can see the plus signs in them. And two of these are exactly the same, just subtraction. So in this video, I'm gonna deal with the first version. Well, the second version is the same as the first ver version, just the A is on the A side of the bracket or the other side of the bracket. And what this distributive law deals with is what to do with the brackets in math and what do they mean and what do you do with the quantity that's inside and outside of the bracket so i have here a bracket for parentheses this bag is the bracket the number of these fasteners or hardware pieces is going to be one of the numbers outside the bracket and you'll see how it works in just a sec so i have retyped the first version here a little bit differently n is the number of these and a plus b so that's the anchor and the bolt so you can have anchor and bolt separately but you can put them together so now you have together as a plus b separately it's just a and b with no relation to each other when they're put together now you have an a plus b so if you have one of these it's uh, one a plus b if you have two of these, you have two A plus B, but in math, two A plus B is, the A plus B part is in a bracket, meaning that the two of them are in a plastic bag like so. This is one set, two A plus B, of course. In this example, I made it four, so you have a set of four A plus B. Here in this one, you also have a set of four yellow plastic anchors. This is all sealed, so here you have four times A plus B. And this one, you have two times A plus B. And this is uh, just different, okay? We'll just leave it alone. So this is four times A plus B. That's what's on the left side written here on the equation. What this means is that if you take them apart, from the package the package is the bracket or parentheses you can take this apart and you can have a count this way when everything is taken apart very simply in one hand you will have 4a and in the other hand you will have 4b four bolts so what this is saying in algebra is if you have a set of four anchors and bolts it's the same thing as having four four bolts and four anchors separately like so that's all this is about very very straightforward and um, the math rules that you multiply this one with this one and that one with that one yeah that's very cute and, and that works but this is the this is the sense behind it and this is all coming from not surprisingly, warehousing and stock keeping, where you have 
lots of these bags of this and that and of course as it's coming to us from antiquity so it wasn't anchors and bolts it was uh, bottles of olive oil and something and uh, adding up the stocks can be just made simpler if they are added in sets such as bottles of olive oil and I don't know anchovies okay let's go with that anchovies and bottles of olive oil and how many sets how many combined sets you have of each and of course you can have sets of sets this is four times a plus B and you have 200 of these so it could be this whole thing can be in yet another set of brackets such as uh, I don't know separate bracket a different kind of bracket like so and you can write the 200 in front of it so 200 sets of a set of four anchors and bolts like so and of course this four can be written on this side of the bracket because it doesn't make a difference whether you write it in front of the bracket or the, or the left of the bracket or the right of the bracket it's still the same thing four anchors and four bolts so there you have it this is what they mean this is what all this is coming from so this was the addition version and I can't really show you a subtraction version because I would need to point that empty space say if I only have four anchors in a bag like so getting that only four anchors in the bag without the bolts so this is I, I know the letters now don't match but four times anchors minus the bolts you get the idea so you would need to just imagine that this is also in uh, warehousing and stock keeping if something is on back order and is missing so we have four sets of anchors but it doesn't have the bolts that's how that that's how it would look like that these bolts are on back order and we haven't uh, received them being shipped from wherever but that's the sense of the subtraction and uh, like i said i'm pointing at empty space this is where the bolts should be that's the sense of subtraction so that's how to make sense out of all of this algebra it is a shorthand writing of real life events when you're working through math try to think through it as uh, counting pieces somewhere and make sure everything is there all the quantities are there inside the bracket and outside the bracket and nothing is missed there can be more letters inside the bracket there can be two three five whatever number of things can be in a single bracket okay this also has two components either these metal l shapes or bolts but you get the idea so there can be multiple things uh, inside the bracket that's not unheard of so this is how distributive law works with this hands-on approach.